Today we're painting raw from Ankh, Gods of Egypt. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So Raw is primed with some matte black primer. Uh, as you can see, there's still some of the brown showing up. I didn't do a good job with the primer, but it doesn't matter because as long as there's a little bit of primer on there, the paint will go on pretty well. We're going to be starting off with his skin with some desert yellow. Yes, it's very khaki looking, very yellowish, very bright for skin color for this miniature, especially according to the artwork. But in the end, uh, the point was that I wanted a light undertone skin so that when I put the wash on it later on, it gets darker with that. And that's exactly what happens. I hope you guys are enjoying these Ankh videos, especially the gods and their warriors. I'll be starting up soon with Massive Darkness too, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be using some speed paints on that as well. Next, we're going to be using some Banshee Brown from the Army Painter. This is going to be for the lower part of, I guess this is his hair or his fur. Uh, he does have like a, a bird head. So I do like the feathers underneath his chin and all that. And like now we're using some Amber Skin, which is a skin tone from the Army Painter. This is a little bit more uh, beige, a little has a little hint of brown to it. Uh, just to give it a different color from the bottom, bottom layer of his feathers. And also later on, whenever you put the wash on, it actually does a good job of changing almost the, the color of it. Uh, sometimes you have to move that hair piece in the back there just to be able to get to other parts of the miniature. Now we're using some ash gray for the feathers around his eyes. Very simple, nice little gray color. Uh, sorry the camera seems to be going out of focus constantly too. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if there's something I have to change with my settings. Uh, bleach skull now this is like a very very close to being almost white paint uh, but has a little hint of gray in it like very subtle gonna be for the other part of the feathers a little necromancer cloak now for his beak and for the actual eyes themselves uh, so which was perfect doing this after because I did hit the eyes with some white originally a little bit of green skin now so this, this cape cloak thing I had a lot of fun with this I did well fun I started putting this one on, I was like, oh, this is too dark, or it's too grassy looking. So I added in some necrotic flesh, 50-50. And then it became like this bright green color, like really bright. And when I put the next color on, I was like, oh, this is clashing too much. But uh, I fix it. It ends up looking perfect in the end. So, I mean, if you make mistakes when you're painting stuff, don't worry about it. You know, you can always fix it. So see, as you can see now, I'm going to do a dry brush of just necrotic flesh just to bring a highlight out. Yes, it makes it a little bit lighter, but the wash later on comes back and helps that. Now, for doing the bottom part of his robes, we're going to use some grimoire purple. This is like a light purple lilac almost, I'd say. I love using this purple. I like this color. It's, it's really nice. Uh, it coats very well. It, you know, you, you can you have a lot of straps to do on this guy. So that's another confusing part is which strap goes where. So then I use some pale flesh uh, just to get just the top edges. Now some people could take a small detail brush and go over the edges with it, but I like using dry brush because it seems like it like just hits nicely. It doesn't put like too much paint. Uh, for the uh, rest of his garments, pretty much we're gonna be using some vampire garments. This is a D and D. Uh, paint line that's a unique color from Army Painter. Uh, so again, so we're doing it behind that, that hair thing he's got in the back of his head. He's got these straps everywhere. Again, this was hard to figure out which strap went where. Uh, now to do that beautiful, I, I'm calling it a hair braid. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's just ornamental, but we're using some deep blue. It was a very nice dark blue on the artwork. And again, I'm trying to follow artwork as much as possible in these board games. Uh, I've seen a lot of other work uh, that people have done. They simply just uh, go with their own thing, which is great. It's amazing what you, what you can create on your own. Uh, some fur brown now for a part of, I think this is a whip, I want to say, or is it a flail? I don't know. I, I don't know what to call it with this. Rigid brown uh, for the handle. So it's a little bit lighter brown, with a little bit more orangey tone to it or yellowish tone to it. Um, this is very similar to what the original color of this miniature was, like underneath. Uh, now we're, after having that, that, that deep blue dry, we were doing a royal cloak dry brush now, just to get the edges on that hair at the back. 
And now we're doing the strong skin wash. Now this is a different wash. This comes in a skin tones box set from the Army Painter. It actually isn't a wash that you can get on its own or whatever. You have to get this with the skin tone paint set. And making it strong, so it's a very dark brown, but it's perfect. See, as you can see, it did a great job on all the skin and the, the, the feathers. Now we're using some military shader. This is like a green and black wash at the same time it gets into the recesses nice and dark but then also tones down that bright green a bit uh now we're having some fun with some green stuff well i'm really loving these color shift paints so this is emerald getaway and this is gonna be for like that sun thing on top of his head of course raw is the sun god so it was perfect then i'm using some toxic purple and some other gems and some evil forest now evil forest for some reason is not green it was supposed to be green it looks purple. Anyways, you barely see it, but anyway, it just makes them to shine a bit more, uh, a little bit different. And now for once, I am not using any kind of gold. Or am I later on? I don't think so. I'm using Weapon Bronze from the Army Painter. This is another Metallics paint. And this one actually makes me think of a Retributor Armor from Citadel. It's got that more brownish golden look instead of a bright gold look. And I wanted Raw to have like a darker tone to him for the gold, not be, but as you can see, the shine is amazing. And you know what? This one goes on much better than their gold paint. The weapon bronze, just really nice. Uh, to do the, the sheath of his dagger, I'm using some night scales, another metallics paint from the Army Painter. This has a bluish black tint to it. Uh, when you get it in the right light, it'll shine nicely with that. Uh, to do the actual sword itself or the dagger itself, I'm using some gun metal. This is a bit darker metal from the Army Painter. Another metallics paint we're going to be using is Glitter Green. Now you've seen me use this before, but now I decided to use this on the uh, the snakes that are on these little the things, decorative things on the side of them. And there's like flowers at the bottom of the snakes. I, I figured I would do the Glitter Green with that too, like to tie it all in together. Um, and then I go back again to Green Stuff World to do some Royal Burgundy because I noticed he had this like pendant brooch thing. And I was like, let's do this different. So again, he's got like a different type of purples everywhere. So I went with Royal Purple on the Metallics, uh, again from Army Painter. And this is to do every second line on his helmet. Uh, so th And then there's like this like decorative part underneath. Uh, so we get that now dark tone will be used on pretty much the rest of the miniature I do go over the military shader again the green uh, just to give it more shadow effect as well And as you can see whenever you go over the purple the gold or the weapon bronze I was gonna say gold there. But anyways, it looks amazing. Just amazing. Look at raw is painted I did some basing to it very simple little mix of some gamings in there some tough some sand Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one